Hey guys, it's that time again. Another anxiety autism vlog. I think it's number number six. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's number six. Today I'm talking about pets and how they can be useful or annoying like this one. This is actually my cat. My brother dropped her off from my house. Oh, well, the back story is that he was moving out of the state. He was in California and he couldn't take her. So he sat her for 12 years. And he's like, we're going to euthanize her or let her out for, for coyotes. And I'm like, okay, well, good luck with that. And take in mind, I, I worked in an animal hospital for four or four or five years. And I like animals, but I didn't want one. Because I didn't want fur everywhere and cats clawing on everything. But my wife said, we'll take her. So we we took her. And my brother dropped her off, and she wanted to kill us. She hated us. She did not want to be around us. But then she realized over time that we were better owners and better caretakers for her because we let her out to play. We let her out to have fun, run around the house, etc., etc. But most of the time, she just does this. She likes to sit on people's laps. She gets irritated if I... I move her really close to her. And she's usually a talker, but today she's not talking. So that's just too bad for you guys. But the point is, when you have anxiety, you find yourself wanting to be around people. And you find yourself just not wanting them to leave or someone to be next to you or around you, but you don't want to talk to them. Uh, same with autism, you, you don't want to talk to anybody, you don't want anybody to talk to you, you just want to sit there and know that somebody's there. Well, with the cat, in this case, with Adjali, the cat, this cat, I didn't name her, my my uh, nephew did years and years ago. You find that the cat will just sit there next to you, regardless of how badly you smell, or, well, she doesn't like if I smell bad, but that hasn't happened yet. She has come by me when I'm not feeling good or when I'm just laying on the couch and needing some sort of comfort. She'll lay next to me. So I don't know if she knows it or not, but she helps. She makes a difference in, in my life. Even though this cat and I have a love-hate relationship enough that I call it, call the cat in it. I should be calling her, calling the cat Agile or her. But that's the cat, and that's my life with the cat. I hate the cat. She hates me. And to, I love the cat so much, and she loves me so much that we hate each other. And that's it, pretty much it for now. If you find yourself needing a little comfort and someone that's not going to talk to you or ask you what's wrong, it's just going to let you be, get a pet. They do help. They make things, they just make life a little bit different. And that's it. I don't really have much much else to say on this short vlog, vlog number six. And here is my cat again. And hey, Adjali, wake up. No, wake up. Why? Talk, say hi. She always hates videos. Well, that's it. There's my cat and me in the background, me fat me. And that's it. Don't forget to subscribe and watch and share. And comment and tell me how much how awesome we are and how much you want to take my cat from me because I will happily mail the cat to you in a box wearing a hat.